Hello and welcome to the Story Shed. I hope that you're all well and taking good care. And today's story I would like to dedicate to Ethan. So hopefully he'll enjoy the tale that I've chosen. Sit back, relax and listen to the story of the giant who shrank. Once upon a time in a far off land there lived a huge giant. He made his home in a big cave high up in the mountains. His bed, table and chairs were made from great tree trunks. And when he wanted a drink, he simply filled an old bathtub with water and drank it down in one enormous gulp. When he snored, which he did almost every night. It sounded like a huge thunderstorm and the noise echoed all around the mountains. At the bottom of the mountains there was a village, but all the folks in the village were very different from the giant, for they were not big at all. They were just like you and me. They were afraid of the giant, of course, and whenever he came striding down the mountain to hunt, they all ran away into the woods or locked themselves inside their houses. Sometimes the clumsy giant would tramp around the village, squashing houses with his great feet as he went. And that only made the village people even more frightened of him. Although the giant was so big and strong, he was not a bad giant, but he was very, very lonely because everyone ran away whenever he appeared. Sometimes, while he was sitting alone in his cave, he could hear the villagers having feasts and parties, and he longed to join them and be just like them. One day, when the giant was tramping around the village as usual, something Glinting in the sun caught his eye. At the top of a big tree, which of course was not very big as far as the giant was concerned, lay a gold box. The giant bent down and picked up the box. To his surprise, he heard a small voice inside say, Help! Help! Let me out! The giant opened the box and out jumped an elf. Thank you, thank you, large say, he said. I am a magic elf, but one of my spells went wrong and I got locked inside this box. No one in the village could hear me calling for help high up in the tree. To show his thanks, the elf said he would grant the giant one wish. I wish I could be the same as all the other villagers, boomed the giant. Hmm. It's a bit of a difficult wish, said the elf. You're so big, but I will do my best. The elf closed his eyes and chanted a magic spell, but nothing seemed to happen. The giant was still as big as ever. The giant was very sad to discover that he'd not shrunk, but he wished the elf well, thanked him for trying and went on his way. As the giant was walking back to his cave in the mountains, he noticed something strange. All the puddles of water that he passed on the way down to the village had got bigger. They were as big as lakes now. The giant looked up to see if it had been raining, but the sky was clear and blue. Then another strange thing happened. The big stone steps he'd cut in the mountainside leading up to his cave had also got bigger. He could hardly clamber up them. Eventually, puffing and panting, the giant reached the door to his cave. But he couldn't reach the doorknob. It now towered above him, far from his reach. Well, what's happening, thought the giant. The elf spell must have gone wrong. Not only am I still a giant, but everything around me has now got bigger. Suddenly, the truth came to him. Of course, everything had not become bigger. He'd become smaller. The spell had worked after all. 
now he was just the same as the other folk in the village. He made his way to the village, wondering if everyone would still run away as before, but he need not have worried. All the village folk welcomed him into the village, and he lived there happily among them for the rest of his days. And that is the end of the story of the giant who shrank. And as I say, that was dedicated to Ethan. I hope that you enjoyed it, Ethan, and I hope that everyone else enjoyed it as well. If you have any stories that you'd like to hear or any that you've written yourself or maybe send in some pictures or poems that could be read in the shed then you can write to us at the story shed blog at gmail.com that's the story shed blog at gmail.com we look forward to hearing from you but for the time being take very good care be well and bye 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 bye